Um, there's uh, there's Dragon, and I think we can make out that looks like the nose cone at the, the top left corner of it. Uh, right now, Dragon is about, if I can pull up some data, Dragon just data. about 11.5 kilometers from the space station. Wow. Well, that is a very pretty view. And here's a really cool view. So on the right is a view from station looking at Dragon. On the left, a view from that camera, that thermal camera on Dragon looking back at station. as they are crossing pretty soon into an orbital night time. At this moment, we're less than a mile away from station. Dragon just under 1,200 meters away, continuing to close the gap. getting great views from Dragon of the International Space Station. Look at that, the lights reflecting uh, from the outside of the International Space Station turned on. Uh, so Bob and Doug have a very clear view of the International Space Station. Here's a great view from uh, a camera behind Bob and Doug. Bob in the, the right-hand seat and the pilot seat. Doug in the commander seat, or the CDR seat. Um, they've got a display in front of them that's the, the forward view. It's got some procedural information on the left-hand side that's telling them criteria that they're looking for. Um, anything off nominal, they could, of course, step in and, and issue a command if necessary. And then on the, uh, the right, left hand and right hand screen, we're actually their, their piloting controls. So when, when the vehicle is in an appropriate state to receive those commands, they can just hop in and use those uh, touch sensitive gloves, issue commands to the vehicle's attitude control system. Dragon SpaceX on Big Loop, you are go to execute the proximity manual flight test per procedure 4.041, and I have the target fuel levels when you are ready to copy. We are go for 4.041, and we're ready to copy the fuel constraint.
All right, so our manual flight test has been completed. We're standing by for them to now resume approach one. So to move in from a, that waypoint one, uh, we're already inside of the keep out sphere at this point. Dragon's holding just 176 meters from the space station. And station, it's Houston on the big loop. As you've heard, Endeavor is resuming its approach to waypoint two. Chris, you can monitor now for step two. That's step two and one decimal one zero four crew dragon approach and retreat monitor. Copy step two aboard. Yeah, so at this moment Dragon is gonna be resuming the approach. As we heard them informing the crew, they're gonna have that uh, one final hold when they're just twenty meters away. That's gonna be at waypoint two. We're expecting it to be a brief hold. So it looks like we do have that hold. Dragon SpaceX on Big Loop. The ground is go for approach two. We will be enabling the resume shortly. As a reminder, ensure your visors are closed prior to Dragon's departure from the waypoint. And once Dragon is inside, the crew hands off point, retreat and breakout are not permitted. And for your awareness, we have sunset in a little less than 8.5 minutes. And copies all on the big loop. Go for docking. Dragon on the big loop. We're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the docking target, but we do see the outline. We copy and concur 10 meters. Right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about one minute, 45 seconds away from docking. There is a, uh, a center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the Ford hatch is. Uh, and right in the middle of that, there's a window and there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with a, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again, the forward docking port um, on PMA2 or the pressurized mating adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset this dragon continues to close, four meters to go. Those shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there, um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point, one meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon in <laughs> Soft capture confirmed, stand by for retraction and docking. And we just heard it soft capture. We have docking that coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. To say that it's been a real honor to be just a small part of this uh, 90 year endeavor since the last time the United States spaceship has docked with the International Space Station. We have to congratulate the 
men and women of SpaceX at Hawthorne, McGregor, and at Kennedy Space Center. Their incredible efforts over the last several years to make this possible cannot go overstated. I'd also like to thank Kathy Leaders and her team of the Commercial Crew Program of NASA. An outstanding job by everyone. Last, I'd like to thank the, the men and women of the National Aeronautics and Space Agency. This is an incredible time to be at NASA. Three new vehicles to be flown, continuing mission in low Earth orbit, and then to the moon and Mars. We thank you again and congratulate you. Dragon arriving. Crew of Expedition 63 is honored to welcome uh, Dragon and the Commercial Crew Program to uh, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Bob and Doug, glad to have you as part of the crew. Well done. Bravo Zulu.